Gohan! Oh, hey, Trunks. I thought you went back home for the rest of the day. Actually, I was just visiting your mom and grandpa at their place. Oh, really? Why would you do that? You said you were worried, so I went and checked on them. There was a small issue, but they're okay. Small issue? Yeah, some weird machines were attacking your mom, but I took care of them. Really? Oh no, is my mom okay? Yeah, not a scratch on her. That's a relief. Thanks a lot, Trunks. Seriously, if you hadn't been there, there's no telling what might have happened. Um, Chi Chi wanted me to tell you something. She said keep fighting, but try to make it home once in a while. Oh, uh, I can't go right now, obviously, but I guess I'd better start making regular trips back to make sure she's doing okay. She'd like that. Right. Speaking of family, you'd better head back yourself before Bulma starts worrying. True. See you later. If I really want to put everyone at ease, I need to defeat the androids and bring peace back to this world. The area around West City suffered numerous casualties today as the androids continued their rampage. Residents in nearby areas have been ordered to evacuate immediately. <sighs> um, Chi Chi wanted me to tell you something. She said keep fighting, but try to make it home once in a while. Mom, just hang on a bit longer. I promise. I'll come back once the androids are gone. The next day, Trunks and Gohan continue their training with a new resolve. Right. Let's begin the training. What are we gonna do today? Another sparring match? We can and will do that. But I think we need to focus on making you a Super Saiyan. So let's start there. I'm sorry this isn't going well. I don't think I can become a Super Saiyan today. It's not supposed to be easy. Don't worry. We'll take our time with it. Okay. That explosion. It has to be the androids. I cannot let them destroy another town. Then let's go, Gohan. No. Trunks still can't transform into a Super Saiyan. He's not ready for this fight yet. I'll be back. You stay here. Wait, Gohan. I can go with you and help you fight. You're still not ready to take them on. Just stay here for now. But, like, any help would be better than nothing. Right, Gohan? Fine. But try to keep up, okay? And don't push it if you think it's too much. Thanks. Let's go. If we don't hurry, people are gonna die. Right. Those androids are going to pay. That's enough, androids! How could you monsters do this? Oh, great. You guys again. What a drag. Let's get rid of them so we can keep having some fun. There are tons of other far more interesting people left to kill. I'm not gonna let you do that. Go on. Let me help you fight them. Fine. You can be my support, but try not to put yourself directly in harm's way. Uh, okay. I'm more than enough to handle these losers on my own. Try to make it snappy, okay? We've got places to be. One slip up and we're done for. You need to be careful, Trunks. Wait. <laughs> 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 
fight you! Taking us both train long and hard to avenge those you've killed. You know, you've got some nerve bringing a little kid with you. Are you, like, messing with us? I'm not a little kid. I'm a warlord. My name is Trump. Don't let them rile you. Let's keep this up. Now for the finish, here it comes. That was amazing, Gohan. It's not over yet. Stay focused. I'll buy you. Try this out! Ah! 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 you think Ah! Ah! trying, then you're in for a big surprise. Then fight us for real. We're not gonna lose. No! Ah! 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 We're doing it! We're winning, Gohan! Not yet. There's still a long way to go before they're done. Trunks! Hmm. You thought you were winning? Give me a break. It's lights out for you guys. <laughs> well, would you look at that? At least they're good at running away. They're pretty nimble for a couple of meat bags. Wherever you're hiding, we'll find you. So, you think we got them, 18? Yeah, they're dead. But even if they are alive, we'll find them. Come on, 17. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Okay, sure. Good. 
You're still breathing. You're gonna be okay. We need to get you home. This is bad. The androids were too strong. I'm only getting in Gohan's way. Several days later, though Gohan had lost an arm, he was spared the same fate as the others. After a miraculous recovery, he had regained the strength and determination needed to fight once more. Trunks, on the other hand, felt responsible for Gohan's injury and struggled to find the courage to face his mentor. Huh, you seem out of it, Trunks. Y yeah I know you were trying to keep it a secret from me, but... I know all about your training sessions with Gohan. I'm sorry, Mom. You used to head over to Gohan's place to train, right? You haven't been there in a while. It, it's because of me that Gohan... that he... How am I supposed to face him? It wasn't your fault, Trunks. I know that, and more importantly, I'm sure Gohan knows that. You'll feel a lot better if you just go see him and, and tell him how you're feeling. Trust me. I guess you're right. I'll head over there now. Good. Be careful, okay? I have no idea what I'm gonna say when I see Gohan. I'm sure Gohan's feeling better and can move around and stuff. But he probably can't do much training anymore. Good, you're here. Let's get started with, huh? What's with the long face? Gohan, y your arm. Uh, are you okay? Yeah. It's gonna take some getting used to, though. Oh, I get it. So that's why you seem so upset, Trunks. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it, man. It's in the past, so no use thinking about it now. Besides, I'm just grateful I only lost an arm. But... Okay. If your head's not completely in this, then this is no time to be training. No, I can still train with you. Relax. It's okay. Sometimes a warrior has to refocus. You know what? I've got an idea. What do you say we go catch us some fish? Sound good? Uh, okay. Looks like there's a Red Ribbon Army drone in the area. Watch out! <laughs> You want to go fishing? Where exactly? Huh. Let's see. There's an island near West City with a lighthouse on it. That ought to be a good spot. R right. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever gone fishing with anyone before. You know how to fish, Trunks? Yeah, I think so. While we're here, how about a little competition? The one who catches the most fish wins. What? No way! Hmm? Wait a sec. I definitely can't beat you in a fight, but... I think I might actually be able to beat you in a fishing competition. <laughs> Good. Then that settles it. Don't let me down, Trunks. I'm ready for ya. Uh, I'm not gonna lose. Let's see. Where should I fish first? Seems Gohan's already looking for a spot.
looks like a keeper. Looks like a keeper. How Gohan's doing. Wow, you caught a lot, Gohan. Let's count them up. Huh. I think you caught more. All right, I beat you, I beat you. Way to go, Trunks. You might be a better fisherman than my dad. So, what should we do with all the fish? I don't know about you, but I'm pretty hungry. Let's cook them. Whew. I, I think I ate too much. <laughs> <laughs> we did fish up a lot, didn't we? Yeah, we sure did. <sighs> Is something wrong? No. Just glad to see you're back to your old self. Oh. Thanks. You went out of your way to make me feel better. Sorry if I worried you. I didn't go out of my way at all. Think of this as just another part of your training. Uh-huh. You mean catching fish and eating them? Totally. It's part of the Turtle School teachings, the ones my dad learned from Master Roshi. According to him, you should be moving, learning, playing, eating, and resting every day. He'd always say that enjoying life is part of one's training, too. Oh, okay. That sounds like good advice. Training you makes me nostalgic. It takes me back to a time when Piccolo trained me when I was a kid. Back then, though, I thought I was training with a monster. He was so ruthless. Seriously, it, it felt like a year and a half of pure torture. <laughs> Actually, if I remember correctly, I was training to help save Earth from Vegeta and the other Saiyan jerk Nappa that came with him. Seriously? Y you had to go through all of that because of my father? I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, it is pretty strange to think I'm training the son of a guy who once tried to destroy the planet. A long time before he trained me, Piccolo supposedly fought my dad as his mortal enemy. Weird how fate works, isn't it? Yeah, it brings people together, like us. Exactly. And all of those people... My dad, yours, and everyone else, they live on in you now, Trunks. Go on. That's why it's so important that you stay alive. And I'll keep training you to make sure you stay that way. If anyone's gonna bring peace, it's you. You're our last hope. Don't worry. You'll surpass me in no time. I, I promise I won't let you down. Good. We'll get stronger together. And we'll make sure our world is safe again. Right, Trunks? Right! Piccolo sacrificed himself to protect me back then. I was too young to understand. But now I know what he felt in that moment. You're the last warrior alive who can do this, Trunks. It's all up to you. I'm afraid you're our last hope. 
The people of this world are going to count on you to protect them when the time comes. But I believe in you with all of my heart. You can do this, Trunks.